Hello, everyone. God bless you. I pray that you're doing well today. Um, I am blessed to tell you that yesterday I made a video that my cat broke my laptop, and which is what I use to make videos with. Well, the Lord God provided me with the new one. And so, yes, my dad came and brought this over to me, and I give God all the glory and praise. You know, I was not worried about it. I trusted that, you know, something better would come along in the right timing. And, you know, it is our faith and our trust in God that can make things happen. And so with that said, I want to pray. Your Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you, God, for all that you're doing and all that you're going to do. I thank you, God, for providing all of my needs. You know exactly what I need. And you, Jehovah Jireh, you do that. Thank you, God, for your love. Thank you, God, for your healing, for just removing all of the illness and sickness from us. Thank you, God, for everything. Help me to decrease, Lord, so that you can increase. I pray for the person watching this, that you will open up their heart, Father God, and give them a new heart and a new mind and a steadfast spirit in you. Bless them, Father God, and fill them with your love and compassion. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. So you know, if that happened and I have a new laptop, the enemy's not happy about that. So if he's not happy about that, what is he going to do? He's going to keep on attacking. And he's going to try to not only attack me and cause me to be frustrated and upset and discouraged and worried. But he's going to attack those close to me. So uh, with that said, earlier today I was playing catch with my dog. And I went and I threw the ball up and he jumped up. And when he came back down, he kind of did like this um, like move with his back. And he didn't quite land on his legs. It kind of like landed on his hip back, kind of. And... Um, and then I, I was like, oh, you know, I got afraid, and uh, I was, I was like, oh no, this is terrible. And he walks over to me, and he's like, whimpering, you know, and he's limping. And I'm like, oh no, this is all my fault, you know. I did this. I'm thinking I did this. This was my fault. And so he was limping for a while, and um, I just put my hands on him. And I cried, and I cried that ugly cry, like, we're not, excuse me, but, you know, I'm just going to be real with you, because this is what I was doing. Like, tears were pouring from my eyes, snot was coming out of my nose, and I was, because I felt like it was my fault. And um, I just began to pray over my dog, and I began to claim healing and I was just apologizing kept saying I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry and I I just praying that God would heal him and I could tell that my dog was like worried about me you know okay and he so he, so he was comforting me and then within like 10 minutes he wanted to start playing again and I was like, no, no, you know, trying to take it easy with him, but he was wanting to play. And so I did, and I noticed that um, he wasn't limping anymore. And so I claim his healing, that Jesus healed him, you know, because by his stripes that he did, that was taken, you know, on the cross, the blood that was shed, by his stripes, we are healed. In Jesus' name. 
And so I just want to read a couple verses to you. And, um, oh, but then I got a phone call. So after my dog was better, I get a phone call talking about my son. And, uh, he went into the clinic today and, um, he came home early because he was sick with a sore throat and a fever. And so I'm like, wow, really? So this is just an attack. And so I claim his healing. I've, it's already done. It just needs to manifest. And so I'm going to read some scripture to you. It says, heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. Save me and I will be saved, for you are the one I praise. And that's Jeremiah 17, 14. And then God says, I will restore you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord, because you are called an outcast Zion, for whom no one cares. And that's Jeremiah 30, 17. So someone today my son told me someone today at school one someone that was his friend said um that he is a demon from the death or demon of the death or something some kind of weird made some kind of weird comment and i said you know the devil just likes to use people scotty because he knows that you are a child of god that you are a force to be reckoned with and so he wants to cause discouragement in your life, you know. And, and he's sick now, but I'm not claiming that. You know, I'm claiming his healing. And that is what we need to do. We need to have that faith that instead of speaking whatever it is, like whatever, um, whatever, it is, for example, if you have a teenager and a teenager is making really bad grades and is very disrespectful to you and um, uh, is rebellious, well, instead of claiming those things over that teenager, what we should do is claim and say what we want it to be you know instead of speaking what it is over them because those words can manifest over them speak what you want it to be you know my teenager is making good grades you know she made the honor roll or <laughs> you know um or our relationship will be restored. You know, God has it all in his hands and we will be closer than ever. You know, that's not saying anything negative. That's speaking positive over the relationship. And so, you know, by your faith, it can heal you. By your faith, it will restore you. You know, so I'm going to share with you. Luke 8, 48 says, Jesus responded, Beloved daughter, your faith in me has released your healing. You may go with my peace. So that's very powerful. And then, um, so I just wanted to make this video. And I hope everyone has a beautiful, blessed day. And if you're going through something, if you're going through a trial, a challenge, just trust the Lord. Have faith. It will get better. You will overcome. And may you have his peace. So, talk to you later.